Hi, this is your host of Bharti and welcome to another episode of TFR. Let's talk. And today we have with us Manuel Zoff, Product Manager at Traffic. Manuel, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. First of all, tell us a bit about the company. What do you folks do? What problem are you trying to solve? So in general, Traffic Labs is a startup which is focused in the cloud native networking area, so to say. We have founded five years ago by open sourcing the famous reverse proxy traffic. Um, the company Traffic Labs is built up on the uh, on the famous open source uh, software, the problem we tried to solve, or we actually solved back then, was was the shift to microservice based architectures, which primarily meant at the time being that companies and organizations were moving to like Docker container based um, deployments. And the need for reverse proxying changed because, as you know, containers are living quite short; they get a familiar IP addresses and things like that. Therefore, there was a high demand for something more automatic if, because before traffic was launched, you had to manually reconfigure your routing rules every time deployment changed, which required lots of like manual efforts for someone to do. So the, we are back in the days, Emil, our founder, released the project traffic, which helped circumventing or actually solving that issue because traffic was the first of its kind to auto-connect to give an orchestra container orchestrator engines and actually reconfigure themselves based on what it sees in those uh, in those environments. And that's where we originally come from. Now, as you said, you know, it's a startup. So can you also tell, you know, when was the company created? And uh, you did talk about the specific problem that you are trying to solve. And if you just look back in uh, when the company was created, how things are now? So we founded the company five years ago, which was following the success of the open source release, which was um, close to seven years ago. Um, within these five years, things have changed quite rapidly. Like in general, there's more of an adoption in all of the container-based um, deployments and patterns and all of that. So the industry has really gotten down into, into, into containers in general, let's say which did lead to, um, to other vendors working on reverse proxies, adopting the pattern uh, traffic has introduced back then, which as I described was connecting to the orchestrators, getting the information, automatically reconfiguring and all those, all those regards. Because in the end, this is what actually helping in developer experience, speeding up a tedious manual work by automating it away and, and just following what is, what is up. And I guess, especially within the last year or two years, the majority of, uh, of people using container-based technologies has actually been, been, been quite good. So they, they actually did overcome um, the initial struggles and, and initiatives to port their applications, their, their very old monolithic applications, for example, into more modern container-based deployments and they and they made they made their steps right so they were able to deploy their applications and they were able to run them but this is only part of the game and that's where the next challenges uh, are lying in front of all of us and which we are trying to solve excellent uh now let's talk about what you folks are announcing today so traffic labs announces the open beta launch of our newest product which is called traffic hub traffic hub is a cloud native networking platform which will help users in different sizes to help and publish and secure their containers right at the edge instantly. Beforehand, if you had your container-based deployment and you had your, de your containers deployed, you had to do a lot of manual steps to actually get this one wired to the internet, like starting with in installing some sort of reverse proxy like traffic did before, but then you still had the networking side to take care of. Let's say you had to configure DNS names to actually point to your reverse proxy. You had to configure TLS to actually get secured connections because like most of websites or e-commerce shops or whatever are, hands, are handling sensitive data. So you for sure need like secured connections. Um, you had to manage, uh, you had to manage things like 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 redirects, like um, depending on the environment you were running, more network related settings like port forwarding or whatever in, in order to actually be able to deploy and make possible the usage of that container. So with Traffic Hub being a cloud native networking platform, we take this away. 
with Traffic Hub, you will be able to, uh, to publish the service to the edge instantly, like basically with a click. And this click will cost you like a minute tops. And then your container is accessible to the, to the complete world, to everyone who wants to access the service, which is a game changer in terms of, uh, in, in terms of like go to market speed for your application, because it just takes away a lot of your manual steps. And who are you targeting with this release? So our first release, our open beta launch, is mainly targeting um, developers all around the world. Because we, Traffic Labs, being a developer company as well, we know we, we, we know the fields, we know the pain <laughs> nowadays uh, developers have, especially if they start to deploy their container applications. Because as I said, there's like a, a lot of networking steps to do where you actually need to have the knowledge in order to do them, right? And for, for most of us, including developing is about like really writing code about making your app more awesome, right? Do, do the fun work and actually get the thing, this thing to living, but not about caring about all the network related tasks that are, that are attached to actually get it to the outside world. So we are targeting developers who are tired of doing all the manual work because it's just boring and actually focus on uh, on getting on getting their their services published quickly without them having the headache. Right. Uh, one more thing, since you brought up a very interesting point, and we are also seeing a lot of shift left movement. At the same time, we are also seeing a lot of things are moving into developers pipeline. The lines between what operators and there there used to be different silos. Uh, the whole desktop movements was meant to break the silos, but the fact is that there are still soft silos today. We still have security. We have teams who are, you know, specialized in networking and all those things. So when you do uh, talk about making things easier for uh, developers, uh, can you also talk about how do you look at these movements where, <laughs> are you actually making things easier for developers or you're moving more things into developers pipeline, which in the end makes more work for them? That's actually a good question. Um, how how we see the movement is that we embrace that like we embrace DevOps in all its facets, right? Like we are traffic labs directly. We also run with like with like uh, cross functional teams. We have everything set up together so that they can actually work. And what we believe is that if we look at traditional uh, traditional setups where there is like the networking department, the security department, or whatever. While they were fine in doing what they what they did, they obviously were slow. They had like long reaction um, reaction times and things like that. And what they needed but never got is to actually do things easily, right? Because we believe that people should be should be capable of doing their things by doing them quickly, like simple. For that reason, simplicity is like in our DNA. And that's why we started with traffic back then, because the job before was also in like operators work, but it was manual tedious work. So even with that change, and we make, for example, the security part or the networking part accessible for developers, it's for a good cause because the same set of group is now capable of doing more, but really quickly rather than having those silos, having different teams talking to each other, trying to fight consensus or whatever is related. So it's not, it's not fighting with the movement, but rather going with the movement and embracing it and enabling teams of all sizes to do their job quickly and actually focus on the things the team wants to do. Excellent. Uh, in the beginning, you were also talking about, uh, you know, open source and it's seems that open source is really critical to uh, Traffic Hub and Traffic in general. So talk about uh, not only why you folks do open source, what value you get out of it, and uh, and also you know, with the traffic, you know, what are the open source aspects, what are the core components there? So for us, we are funded out of open source, right? We are an open core company. That's what we focus around. For us, having the big community that we have with Traffic Open source is like is in our hearts. Let's say we all believe uh, we all believe in open source, and therefore for us the open source mo uh, open source movement in general is is really crucial um, because 
if we look at the open source community, it's it's a big it's a big group, and it's a group which is really it's really powerful and really embracing and really really has a lot of facets. So there's there is a great this group in general is great to like exchange ideas, look at different things, look at how they move, and all of that. And at the same time, for us as a company, obviously. It's a, it's a big group as well, right? And I mean, we as a company started in being in that group as well. So by at first focusing on the open source on the open source community, we start to let's say leverage the community we already have because traffic is among the top open source projects that are actually existing. So there's a lot of people, and that's the people we care about. And therefore, the first release or the first set we do with our new product for sure needs to be for those people because that's those people who actually like they're the foundation of everything uh, of everything we did and everything we will do in the future and therefore we need to be right at it manuel thank you so much for uh, taking time out today and talk about traffic traffic hub and also kind of explain the problem that your folks are solving there and uh, as usual i would love to have you back on the show thank you thank you for having us